Hi, my name is Mark and I'll give you an overview of the Alexa XT cameras. We've had the Alexa Classic cameras since June of 2010. They've done extremely well and we've been talking to a lot of our customers and getting a ton of feedback. All that feedback resulted in a new generation of Alexa cameras, which we call XT, which stands for Extended Technologies because we've taken what's good about the Alexa and extended it and improved upon it. There are about nine new features uh, that the Alexa XT cameras have. If you want all the gory details, you can look up on the website. We have a great website for the Alexa XT cameras with all the details you could ever want. I'll give you an overview of all these features here. And we will start with the XR module, which is the side cover on the left side of the camera. The camera comes with a side cover. It is also available as an upgrade to any Alexa Classic camera. What this allows you to do is record in-camera ARRI RAW and up to 120 frames a second. Both of those were features you don't have with Alexa Classic cameras. Now you record that onto these magazines. We worked very closely with Codex in developing the side cover as well as this drive. This is called the XR Capture Drive that goes into the side cover and allows you to record in-camera ARRI RAW, but you can also record ProRes or DNX HD onto this drive. In that case, of course, you have a much higher capacity on this 512 gigabyte drive. Now, for those of you who still have s Pro cards, we have a built-in adapter. This is the s s adapter, and I'll show you how that goes into the side. You'll open up the cover, you put the adapter in, and then the card goes into the adapter. Now you can record ProRes or DNX HD onto the s s Pro cards. And very recently, we introduced a new adapter. This is the CFast 2.0 adapter here that allows you, of course, to record onto CFast 2.0 cards, which is the very same medium used by the Amira camera. Last but not least, on the XR module, we have these plastic top covers here. In the standard version, they're black, but if you want to, you can get extra replacement covers in a number of different colors which are matched to American one-inch camera tape so you can identify your A camera, your B camera, or your C camera with the proper color coding. The second feature are the new internal filter module features. Inside each Alexa XT, right about here, is a filter holder that allows you to place a small filter between the lens and the sensor. The advantage of having the filter in that position is that for one, you don't have all the reflection problems you have with external filters. Second, the filter is much smaller and lighter. And third, you attenuate the light back there and that prevents an effect called narcissism where light bounces between the back element of the lens and the sensor and creates double ghosting, which you really don't want. Now, what is really cool and wonderful about these filters is we're using a completely new technology. Forget everything you know about ND filters. These little guys here, which we call full spectrum neutral density filters, are completely different. Most other ND filters will change their color balance slightly as you go into higher and higher densities. These do not at all. They keep exactly the same color balance from ND 0.3 all the way to ND 2.4. In addition, they have an anti-reflective coating. Most external filters don't have that either, which prevents unwanted reflections. And third, they have a precision polishing that makes sure that the sharpness from the lens makes it all the way through to the sensor. So if you're shooting outside with 800 ASA, you need a little less light, these are a wonderful way to achieve that without any of the disadvantages of the current external ND filters. The third feature of the Alexa XT cameras is the 4x3 sensor. Now, most modern cameras have a 16x9 sensor, and the Alexa is the only camera that has a 4x3 sensor, which means the sensor is actually taller. There's more sensor area. And that has two advantages. First, if you're shooting with spherical lenses, you can use that extra area on the bottom and at the top for visual effects markers or to reframe in post. But most importantly, this allows you to go plug and play with anamorphic lenses. The Alexa XT cameras with their 4x3 sensors are the perfect cameras for shooting with anamorphic lenses. And that brings me then to the fourth feature, which is the open gate mode. All Alexa XT cameras allow you to switch to a special mode that uses all the photo cells on the sensor. So all 3,414 by 2,198 photo cells on the sensor can be used for an airy raw recording. Now to illustrate this, this is what the whole Alexa sensor looks like. 
And then this is the 16 by 9 area in 16 by 9 mode. This is the 4 by 3 area in 4 by 3 mode. And then in open gate mode, this is what it looks like. We're using all the photo cells on the sensor. And that can be used, again, if you wanted to use visual effects markers, can be used for reframing, resizing, rotating the image, or for image stabilization. But it can also be used if you want to shoot a wide-angle shot specifically and capture more detail, or you want to do some up to 4K. Next, we've decided to implement lens data system contacts on all the Alexa XT cameras. So to show you what a lens data system contact looks like, this is what the contacts on the lens look like, on any LDS lens. And then on the camera, we have equivalent contacts so the lens can communicate with the camera. And if you're doing any kind of visual effects shot, that'll really save you time being able to record all the lens settings into the metadata. In addition to that, we have another feature that makes the whole workflow on the set easier, which is an automated CDL capture. CDL, that's the American Society of Cinematographers Color Decision List, and it's simply a way to write down what kind of colors you've used. So if you're using a laptop to set a preview color on the set for all your monitors, whatever values you've set in that laptop can be sent via an Ethernet cable to the Alexa, and then it's recorded in the ARRI raw metadata, and later when you create dailies, you can use that color decision list to make your dailies and you can also use it as a basis for color correction in post-production. The seventh feature is a completely new viewfinder mounting bracket and viewfinder extension bracket. Now I have one here with me. This is the new viewfinder mounting bracket, VMB3, and we've rethought the complete viewfinder mounting bracket from scratch. We're perfectionists here at ARRI, and we always try to improve our gear. Now if you look at this, one of the differences is this has two rods coming out that hold the actual arm that holds the viewfinder, and that gives the whole thing more stability. It's much more rigid, much more stable than the previous viewfinder mounting bracket. In addition, these two rods are standard 15 millimeter lightweight rods that are at the same position and distance to the lens as the 15 mil lightweight rods are below the lens. These are just above the lens, which means you can hang your matte box from these, you can hang your follow focus or your lens motors from these, and that means that the bottom of the camera is totally uncluttered which means you can very quickly switch from Steadicam to tripod to the crane. Additionally, we have a bubble level on the viewfinder mounting bracket now, and we have a new hard coating that is very slippery, but at the same time very hard. It's um, something called PTFE, well, you probably know it under the name of Teflon. So this is an actual anodizing with a Teflon coating, which helps this quite a bit. The whole design's a lot more sturdy. You notice this part here, the extender, is a lot more sturdy than the previous one, and it really works much better on the Alexa. Now with that, of course, comes a new viewfinder extension bracket that you see here. This also is much more rigid and sturdy, and it has an extra feature that the film camera extension eyepieces used to have. There is an arm that flips out, so if you use an eyepiece extension lever, you need to move the camera, you take the extension lever off, now the viewfinder is kind of loose, you can extend the arm, rest it on the handle or the camera top, and then you can transport the whole thing without the viewfinder flopping about and banging into things, which of course is not a good idea. That was the seventh feature. The eighth feature are two included licenses. We have an anamorphic de-squeeze license and the high-speed license included with every Alexa XT camera. So that's not an extra thing you have to purchase anymore with the XT camera. And then last but not least, we have a new fan. This is the Alexa XT fan. It actually is about one dB quieter than the previous fans. So all the Alexa XT cameras are now at 19 dBs. And this fan can be relatively easily exchanged. It sits in the back here. To distinguish it from the regular Alexa fan, the XT fan has a yellow dot on it. And that's it for the Alexa XT cameras. They're wonderful cameras. I hope you have fun shooting with them, and thanks for watching.